here thanks to our rain. It was 84 degrees for your high yesterday. Our normal high for this time of year is still 93 degrees. Our lows are running a bit on the warmer side thanks to the cloud coverage overnight. So we're sitting at 75 degrees uh, was our low yesterday. The record low 63, so not that cool. The record high whew, 107. We did pick up over a half an inch of rain at the airport yesterday. And look at this. This is what I'm most excited about. Our year to date rainfall is now in a deficit of just 42 one hundredths of an inch. So we are working our way up year to date. We've received 19.54 majority of that coming the last two months. August, we picked up uh, a surplus of 8.46 inches. And in September, as of right now, we're in a surplus of six tenths of an inch. We've already picked up 1.33 inches for the month. So that's going to help tremendously with the drought. I am I am uh, not I am in no doubt, that's what I'm trying to say, that we will not see drought across our region by the time the next drought monitor is released. Now the watershed still is, has some very extreme to exceptional areas of drought on the northern side. I think that may still persist. That, that drought is not going anywhere anytime soon, but we'll see some improvements across our watershed as well. And all this rain, Maybe you spend some time at Lake Corpus Christi over the Labor Day weekend. Not a whole lot. There was some rain impacting your outdoor activities, but the water levels uh, for the most part pretty good there at Lake Corpus Christi sitting at 77.8% uh, total for that lake. Choke Canyon's the lake we want to be fuller in terms of our watershed and in the combined level that that's the bigger lake. So we're still at 46.6% combined over the last week. We still have seen an increase by just 2%. So our levels are kind of evening out, but I still expect them to continue to rise from all the rain that we have seen over the last few weeks. And for the month, we've gone up by 9.6%. So that was our watershed. Those, those are our rainfall totals since September 2nd. You can see spotty areas seeing a whole lot of rain across the coastal bend with two to three inches, but all of us seeing around a quarter of an inch or so. So pretty decent rainfall totals. Today, there's still a marginal risk for flooding, uh, but we have a slight risk further to the south into the valley. And Tuesday, that continues. Uh, it's more of the Rio Grande Valley area that has that risk of flooding the next two days. You can see that here on future cast. We are watching some storms coming up that may impact your morning commute, especially along the islands and coastal regions. Then we are going to see uh, offshore storms, but sea breeze will push some scattered activity inland. Again, heavier rainfall still expected further to the south today. On our Lex Cam, it's 518. We'll see temperature 77 degrees. Winds will be calm and uh, yes, it's going to be still humid out there. 85 degrees, a chance for a few storms, light and variable winds. And here's your hour by hour forecast. We'll get that heat index into the mid to low 90s and winds very light and variable. They'll be north at times, south at times. Labor Day, we have off and on chances of some rain. 85 degrees, your high temperatures do go up by the end of the week. We see less rain heading into next weekend. I wouldn't say it's a 0% chance of rain, but less rain where I'm not putting the thunderstorm icons. Barbie John Thomas.